All right, what's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna be um, importing models with more advanced textures. Um, this includes color maps, normal maps, roughness, metal, and this is like how to add them in Roblox. I haven't seen any tutorials um, on this, so I mean, not any good ones. So yeah, this is like 2025 tutorial right here. Um, this is a model with normal map metal roughness and color map and let me uh yeah delete this and this would it looked like without with like just the color map and basically um yeah you can see like we don't get like a lot of these bumps i just see like uh a lot of the detail is lost you know we get the uh like the tracks are kind of crazy but we're just gonna ignore that And yeah, just, uh, we get some more realism. You know, it just makes it pop a little more with the normal roughness, stuff like this. It's not the best example, uh, this model, but it, um, it gets the point across. Alright, and we're just gonna remake this tank, basically. Um, import the mesh. What you need is, uh, either the FBX of the mesh, or OBJ, file. There might be some other formats that I don't know about. Um, so just import your model. So normally what you'd do, um, with just the mesh things that you normally apply, I'll move my camera out of the way, I'll just move me out. Basically, you have texture ID, you'd apply your tank texture, wherever that would be, let me see if I can find it. Uh, now you actually don't have to do this step right here. I just, uh, I'm doing it just to show, like... So I can show the before and after. This isn't the right one, but we're going to use it. Alright. No, it is the right one. Let's get it. Then we'd go to our other parts and apply the texture. This is if you have multiple parts. And then boom. We have our tank, but that's just using the color map. Now, how do you add normal roughness and metal maps? Here we would go to uh, the specific mesh and add a surface appearance. This is kind of where the magic happens, okay? And this is where you have kind of all your maps right here. Color map, metal mask, no uh, normal map, and roughness map. And basically, it's as easy as uh, drag and drop. Or not drag and drop, but just select the metal map. Let's uh, choose a file. Let's find this. And then... A big thing that I would recommend is um, wait a second before you move on, like let it load in, because that's a common problem that I had with uh, applying these uh, textures. If I move too fast, Roblox just doesn't load it properly. I'm editing, and I just want to add this. I Right here, I just connected all the maps to its like specific uh, area slot. As long as you know where your uh, maps are located, it's just, uh, you yeah, you just plug them in. So, let's just look at the difference right now. So this would be um, with all of the stuff. This would be without it. Just adds another detail of realism. And especially if you have, like, uh, custom normal maps, this is uh, how you apply it, okay? I keep on doing this. Let's see if you have like uh, maybe some normal details. You can uh, apply it using this method. But um, and then you just repeat this process on each one. I wonder if you could duplicate this and just yeah. So you you actually don't have to plug it in twice. You can just duplicate your surface appearance as long as they have the same UVs. And basically um. I mean, this is a tutorial mainly for, um, I mean, people who kind of know what they're doing in Roblox Studios. But, um, yeah, so hope this tutorial was uh, good for the people it's targeting to. And, um, yeah, good luck with your games. Let's get it.